I admit, the idea of this book was quick. It came to me without hesitation, almost blew in like a breeze rushing through a newly opened window. <laughs> I can laugh at these thoughts now because I had some time to reflect on it. But at the time, I had no clue that this was God using my testimony to inspire other women's transparency. I, in fact, was the newly opened window. The rush of air was every castaway thought, every idea, and every piece of creativity that I let wander away from me. One day, as I was having my daily conversation with God, he said, but where is your obedience to me? I sat there stunned thinking, God must have slipped into the wrong conversation today. But he's never wrong. Then the apple fell right on top of my head. <laughs> and I took off running. See, all my life I've been transparent about my ups, my downs, my upside downs. I always felt connected. Connected to some words that I heard at church one Sunday from Dr. Earl Preston Jr., Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church. He said, you're not special. <laughs> mm -mm. You're not special. There is someone going through what you are going through. Someone about to go through what you're going through or somebody just coming out of what you're going through. See, we all go through storms. Now for me, that landed on my spirit. Probably not in the way the sermon intended but with a far greater purpose. I said to myself as a child, so why don't we just help each other out with the knowledge of the go-through? <laughs> now, as I grew into an adult, had adult interactions, especially with other females, I realized that not many shared my childhood download from God. And those that did tried supporting others with their knowledge and got burned. Or worse, they had their hearts become hardened. Now, when God and I had this conversation, I was just finishing up treatment for breast cancer. And in that moment, I understood exactly what he meant. I've always had this feeling way down deep to gather, teach, and empower others, especially women. But honestly, it was just far easier to go to a nine to five instead <laughs> and just try to block those messages from source. But now, now the message was clear. It was my time to go. Obediently, I gathered some women whom I love dearly, and I know they've survived some things and walked through a few storms. I taught them the power in telling their truths to others, and then I empowered them to be transparent through their stories. Now, this book, From Survival to Stilettos, this book is filled with stories of pain, hurt, and tragedy, but... It also holds the testimonies of God's love and his faithfulness to his children. We're not all the same. And we know that every story in this book may not speak to you. You may even disagree with some of the actions of these women. But in the end, this book is about the power of transparency and the support of those that are going through coming out or will go through our same storms. So we love you. We appreciate you. We cannot wait for you to support this book. We hope you enjoy and always be transparent.